Um, you know, I kind of felt it for a little while. Uh, it was mainly after the summer trip uh, and just all the time I had spent with Coach Pitt and Coach Kennedy. But um, just waiting it out, there was no recency bias left. I hadn't visited a school in like a month or so. And um, I was going to wait until after the season, but I was ready and um, freed up a lot of my fall schedule. And I just decided there was no need to wait, that I was ready to go. Very surreal. Um we had done that billboard just as a test to see what would come through it. My dad uh, owns a billboard business, and so he's heavily involved in um, the industry. And that was just that was my favorite spot at the time. So we did that, and I never thought all of this would come from it. Okay. Well, first I want to ask you one thing, Bear, and then I'm gonna get serious on this, man. Do I call you Bear or do I call you Hog now? So you can still call me Bear. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a corny joke, but I had to ask you, man. Uh, <laughs> you bear, huh? Uh, hey, uh, seriously, was your sister, who's at the U or going to be at the U of A as well, was she pretty excited with your decision? She was very excited. Um, she walked in the door as I was telling my parents that I was ready to go ahead and commit. And so um, she was a little confused at first, but we told her, and she was very, very excited. Okay. Uh, you – for anyone who doesn't know, this kid's about 6'4", 300. Is that right, Bear? Yes, Three sir. Clubs? Okay, 6'4", yep. 300 in the 10th grade. So, uh, I mean, he's got some – still got high school ball to play. But, uh, you know, Tay Lockett committed to Arkansas in that same 2026 class as you. Kai Greer in 2024. And then recently, Jamarian Parker from St. Louis, a running back, 2025 committed. Just talk about – have you had any contact with those kids and some, and not just those, but Grace and uh, uh, Ty, uh, Marcus, any of the commitments? I mean, do you talk to the others quite a bit? Yes, sir. I've been talking to uh, Tay, the uh, 2026 commit. We've been talking about who we want to get on board in 2026 and stuff like that. Yes, sir. I would imagine Kane Archer and Jackson Cantwell are pretty high on that list. I would yes, say. sir. <laughs> yep. That's a smart guess, wasn't it? Uh, not too hard to guess that one. Uh, just, for someone that hasn't seen you, I've seen you at camp since you were a little guy, but uh, well, you were a young guy. I don't think you were ever little, but when you were a young guy, <laughs> I saw you at the camp. What what do you do well, man? Tell tell people out here that hasn't seen you what you do well. I think something that makes me different would be my flexibility and just quickness uh, in the box and pass pro. Um, you know, there's obviously stuff I need to work on, but I think for my age and my position, I think my flexibility um, sets me apart and just – getting around the box, climbing to linebackers, stuff like that. Just just how good – I mean, I think you've known for a while you were going to Arkansas. I mean, I talked to you when you were at camp this summer, and you told me then you were going to wait till after the season to do it, like you said earlier. But how relaxing was it? Or, or I mean, just how good did it feel to get that behind you? Now you got – I know people talk about, well, now I can concentrate on my senior year. Now you can concentrate on three years of high school ball and not bog down with recruiting. I'm not saying people will stop recruiting you, but you're not going to be bogged down. You know where you're going. How relaxed, how comforting was that to know that? And how good did it feel? Very relaxing. Uh, like I said, I got like my whole fall freed up. We had a lot of games scheduled out. And now I'm just going up to Arkansas for the BYU game and not having to worry about, all right, when am I going to go see this school? I got to call this coach tonight. Uh, just don't have to do that anymore. I'm locked in. I think you had a game yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, I don't yes, get to, Did you get to see any of the Arkansas game or at least the highlights? I saw a couple highlights. It looked like KJ had a really good game, but uh, yeah. I didn't get to see any, any of it live. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I knew you didn't get to see it live. I didn't know how much of the – uh, the highlights you got to see um just the fact that they came out you know you followed Arkansas in the past they've maybe struggled like Missouri State last year they didn't put that team away till the end and Liberty they kind of yesterday they came out it was 21 to nothing before Western Carolina scored 35 to 3 at half this team put the foot on the gas pedal and didn't let up how impressive is that 56 to 13 how impressive is that i know you didn't see it but how impressive is it to look at the scoreboard and see arkansas did what they should do against that opponent that's really impressive um especially like first game of the season those are always sloppy there's always yeah. first game mistakes you're not used to being out there in front of a crowd and it's your first time doing that and so it's impressive to see a team go out there and just smooth sail um through a team they should uh beat yeah uh, how impressed are you with KJ? I know you've seen him play for years, and and how impressed are you with him? 
he's ridiculous. I feel like I've been watching him for five years at Arkansas, but he just gets better every year, and I don't know if I could tackle him. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. <laughs> the uh, line no, is sir. about 6'1", 230 or 235 from uh, uh, Western Carolina tried to tackle him, bounced off of him. So I did. Yeah, I I saw that I'm sure I couldn't. But anyway, uh, you're uh, just uh, – how good is it to – contact other kids and and what is your selling point if you i'm not gonna name but if you contact one of those kids text them or whatever about coming to arkansas with you a recruit what what are some of the selling points that you give them i know what the coaches tell but what do you tell i think uh the biggest part is just getting them to go visit arkansas i think once you get on campus you see everything you talk to all the coaches i don't see how there's anywhere else you would want to go um but outside of that my selling point is just coach Pittman. i i like I've talked to a lot of different head coaches. They've all been great guys, um, very cool, but there's no one else I'd want to play for other than Coach Pitt. Also, uh, I, I, Cody Kennedy, how, how well do you like him? You've worked with him individually at camp, Coach Kennedy. Talk about him as well. I, I know you, Coach Pittman, but talk about Cody Kennedy too. Yes, sir, I really like him. Um, he's kind of like a miniature version of Coach Pittman. They have all the same coaching points, uh, coach the same, but, I mean, that's – He's getting all his wisdom from the best uh, O-line guy in football, and so um, that definitely helps. And, I mean, that's who I want to play for. That's pretty much, Evan, what I've got, if you've got some more questions. I mean, I feel like I can do it all. I can play any position I need to. I can snap. Um, I can pull. I can be on an island and pass pro. So I'm just going to do whatever they need me to do, um, whatever Kennedy and uh, Coach Pittman tells me to do. I'll go do it and do, give it the best of my ability. Everything. I mean, it's best fan base in the most beautiful area in the country, and it's just impossible to beat. I mean, it's like every time I'm up there, there's something else I see that I like more, and I mean, it's just such a great place. They they put them away early. They didn't play around. Uh, come out slow. Let them hang around like we just talked about, uh, Evan. I mean, that's what real. I mean, there was more than that impressed me. But the, the biggest thing was just putting the foot on the gas, not letting up. And 21 to nothing, 35 to 3, 56 to 13, just that. And then i tell you one thing that I didn't really get a chance to ask Coach Pittman about after the game. But one thing that impressed me, and I didn't really get a chance to ask KJ a shutout, but how well he executed – and not just KJ, but the offense executed with this many new players. Yeah, you've got the running backs. They're familiar guys. But really, Armstrong, Broden, to slow, to slow, um, uh even Isaiah. I mean, the, you know, I mean, these uh, these are new. I know Isaiah was here, but really, he didn't play that much. Like these are new receivers. The tight ends, Trey Knox is not there anymore. They're all gone. I mean, these are new players, and it didn't look like, the offense missed a beat. I was impressed with how efficient they were on offense. Now, the running game, yeah, they didn't get the running game going. I'm not trying to look over, overlook that, but that, that was an obvious one. They've got to improve it. But I'm just talking about the passing game, more or less, with the way KJ, because these were all new players except for the running backs he's dealing with, uh, Evan, and that's what impressed me is just how well the 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 uh, connection, the chemistry, with, chemistry is a better word than connection, the chemistry with KJ and those receivers, how well they it was yesterday. I mean, he had five incompletions. He had one. He bounced to Armstrong. That was probably going to be a touchdown. Armstrong abused those defensive backs all day, and uh, he had that one burn. He, he was about the three, and if he catches it, he's he's in the end zone. But but then same thing. KJ comes back a little later and, and puts it right on the numbers, and the guy gets a touchdown. So it all evened out. But I'm just saying the chemistry with KJ and those receivers really impressed me. Uh, and then the defense, they uh, five turn created five turnovers. That's impressive. I mean, I felt like they came out. Yeah, well, they're going to play better teams. I mean, I hear that all the time. People say, well, they're going to play better. Well, of course they're going to play better teams. But so with most of the schools that open the season, very few open against the number one team in the country. So, I mean, yeah, they're going to play better competition. But the bottom line is the same type teams is one that's given them a lot of trouble in the past, and it didn't didn't yesterday. And so that was impressive. And not just the offense, but the defense, too. They came out three and out, three and out, you know, and then created five turnovers. So I don't want to discredit the offense, Kevin. I was impressed with the defense, too. Yeah. 
part of that, though, is I think Arkansas played everybody they had. KJ down there. Jefferson's I mean, they, didn't, they they didn't just say here's here's the top eight. We're going to pin our ears and go after them. I think that was part of that. I, but I think they will get more pressure. As they, I think part of it was the fact that. Uh, you know, they, they played everybody yesterday, or basically everybody. I, I don't know who all played, but there was a bunch. I know, I mean, it's good to see John Hill and kids like that, Quincy Rhodes, and those kids at the end of the game, and they made some plays. Of course, like Quincy wasn't seriously hurt, I don't think. when he, I think he's hit his head on the turf, is what uh, Sam said. But uh, just, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's all, but there's things about it. There's e always improvement, but it still comes back to 56-13 because I've seen – in the past, like Missouri State last year, I mean, they just started so slowly and rise uh, a couple of three years ago, they started real slowly against. And uh, I was just impressed with the way Arkansas took your kind of took your business yesterday. And uh, you don't know what to expect when you got around 35, 40 new players on the team, Evan. I mean, you're looking at half the half the scholarship roster is new and uh, basically and uh I just, you know, even when Jacoby – and one thing we've talked about on here when we've mentioned team instead of recruiting is Jacoby Criswell. I really think he's a pleasant addition to the team. Not a surprise. I thought in high school they were recruiting him, Chandler Morris, and Haynes King. And I thought Jacoby then was the better one of the three. And so I'm not surprised at anything Jacoby Criswell does. And I got why Chad recruited his son. I'm not second guessing or ripping him for that. I'm, that's not what I mean by this. I just, my personal opinion, I saw all three kids play. I thought Jacoby was the best of the three. But so it, what I, my point of saying that was to say this is not a surprise. When he goes out there and has success, I expect that from Jacoby. It's not going to be something that surprises me. And I think that's an addition that, we all hope KJ doesn't get hurt, but if he does, I do think they're better equipped than they were last year. Pretty much the same thing. I want to see Arkansas. They got beat pretty bad by UCL uh, Thursday night, if I'm not mistaken. They got beat pretty handily. And I want to see Arkansas do the same thing to them that they did to uh, uh, Western Carolina. Just come out, take, take control of the game. Put them away and don't let up and don't let up at all. And 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 uh, you know, I want to see them improve in the areas that we've talked about where they need to. I, I, you definitely want to see them run the ball better because they're going to have to. But I, there again, I think they will. I mean, when you've got those running backs, I think Brady Latham not being – you mentioned that, and I think him not being in there, Evan, I don't think we can just look over that and say, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, they had two returning starters two experienced players really coming back. One of them was Brady, and he didn't play. So, I mean, you're putting a lot of – and you got Bo playing a new position. Yeah, he played it in Liberty Bo, but other than that, that's a new position for Brady. I mean, Bo. So, Brady was the one guy that was coming back playing the same position he started at last year. So, I don't think you can just look at that and scoff over it. I, I think that's a factor. And I think, you know, when he – and apparently he will play according to Sam, or I think that's what he said, something to the extent that he's expecting to. If he does, then I think you'll see an improvement in the running game.